So the thermostat has ratcheted up in most parts of the country, and one of the questions we get asked most commonly here at Bolani is what fabrics are specifically well suited for hotter temperatures. And so I'll go over two trouser, two sport coat or suit materials that if you've never tried these blends, you absolutely should consider doing so this summer. Uh, the first thing I'll chat about is this collection from Dormade. It's called Hamptons this year. Uh, last year it was called their Naturals Collection. But in this book, you've got some really intriguing blends of wool and cotton. I'm wearing a pair of their trousers right here that are nice uh, twill. It's about a 60-40 blend. And they have the best of both worlds. So it's a lighter weight wool that feels great when temperatures are north of 80 and then a little bit of cotton to give it some stretch and elasticity, but they don't wrinkle like a typical cotton trouser. I do have some uh, more casual cotton trousers, enjoying wearing them, but you're inevitably gonna get the wrinkles, especially behind the knee, if you wear them in a tighter fit right here. So this Hamptons collection is both a collection of trousers, and then there's some interesting uh, sustainable fabrics that are basically recycled materials that they blend into both their trousers and their jackets. So uh, wool cotton blend on a lighter scale is my favorite go-to trouser of the moment. I'm wearing them in a traditional flat front. You could certainly cut them in a jean style as well. The other material to consider is something called tropical weight wool or basically a lighter weight wool in a Panama or plain weave. And so this whole book uh, from Holland and Sherry is going to highlight some six and a half ounce fabrics that you know you could do in suiting or if you want just a trouser there's lots of materials that you could do in a trouser as well just to give you a reference point in the midwest and in most most of the country where you've got four seasons a nine ounce fabric is considered a 12 month or four season fabric so these particular cloths right here are six and a half ounces which is just unbelievably light Part of it has to do with the type of wool that they're using. It's a Super 130s, 210 gram wool, but it's woven with, as I mentioned, the Panama or Plain Weave, which is a very specific weave that's uh, designed to allow your body to uh, release heat and also to keep you cool and crisp in the most hot and humid of climates. So try a full suit or at the very least a trouser out of a tropical or a Panama weave, a trouser right there. Let me switch gears for a minute and talk about jackets. I'm wearing the Tri-Blend or the Trifecta. This is a great book that talks about silk linen and wool blends. There's really no limit to patterns that you could wear in this, but basically the silk will give your fabric a little bit of softness, sometimes some sheen. The linen gives it that texture, that very distinctive summery texture. And then the wool, of course, is gonna give your jacket a little bit of body so it doesn't wrinkle like a full linen jacket would right here. We're still seeing tons of these berry colors as accents. I'm seeing a lot of the peach and Mocha colors as accent colors in jackets this season, which is a great way to try an unlined or an unstructured jacket. Going back to the Hamptons collection for a our final fabric, this right here is a tropical wool with linen. It's probably the lightest weight jacket I've ever commissioned for myself. I mean, it's just feather light. We did this completely unstructured, so basically you take all of the lining out, and then we designed a very casual spala camicha, which I talked about in one of the other videos. If there were a dozen jackets like this in different colors, I would wear them all summer long. Again, they are the lightest weight material. They feel like you're wearing a shirt, not a sport coat, but because of the composition, the tropical wool with the linen, it's got the cool texture, but it doesn't have any of the wrinkling that you would normally see. So four things to summarize. Trousers, you might consider a lightweight wool cotton blend. You might consider a tropical wool as a trouser or as a full suit. In sport coats, the tri-blend, silk linen and wool in various compositions is a great option and then lastly a linen wool blend from a better mill that knows how to weave a fabric that doesn't wrinkle would be something that would keep you looking cool and feeling cool happy dressing my friends